Hello, I'm going to do a quick demo on how to translate within the SDL Machine Translation Cloud interface. Here we have a really simple and easy to use user interface. I have the language set to detect language, but I could add any language here. Depending on the subscription model that you have to Machine Translation Cloud, you may have access to language pair chaining. Language pair chaining means that you can automatically go from any language to any other language, Russian into Korean, for example, which would give you well over 2000 language combination possibilities. So you can type text into the box or you can copy paste text in and it translates as it goes. Let me grab another sample here. And when I paste it in, it will automatically detect and then translate it instantly. Another feature you can use right within the UI is adding a dictionary. Dictionaries are keyword lists that enforce certain translations in the output. So I have a German example, so I'll select German. And when I paste in the text and I scan my translations, I can see that I have an example of a couple of terms uh, that don't appear quite right. So for these terms, I have already created a dictionary list that have the right spelling. So I click on this book icon, then I load my dictionary and then the terms are automatically applied. This means that every time the engine encounters the source term of occluder, this correct spelling will appear in the English output when I have my dictionary loaded. So this user interface is a great way to check things quickly, but we know that many times you need an entire document translated. Before I put a document in, if I hover over this blue box, I will see a number of different file extensions that are supported. SDL is continuously adding new file types, so if you don't see the one listed here, stay tuned. So the document I'm going to show you is a Word document. I will show you what it looks like here. I will now drag and drop my file right here onto the page. And if I wanted to change the language, I would be able to do so here. Otherwise, it does detect that the language here is German. So all I do is I click on the translate to English button and then I download the file. So what is happening here is that SDL machine translation is finding the translatable text. It is extracting it, it's running it through the engine, and then it's putting it back exactly where it found it. So I'm just opening up the Word document now and I, we will be able to see that my entire document formatting has been retained. The one thing to note is that you need to save the translated document as no data is stored within Machine Translation Cloud itself. So if I needed to retrieve this document again, I would have to run it again if I hadn't saved it. And this is done as a security feature by design because we do not keep your data. So that's really all there is to translating within the SDL Machine Translation Cloud interface itself. MT Cloud has API capabilities, so if you need to integrate machine translation into your other technologies directly, just get in touch with us to see if there's an out of the box connector or if we can help build the solution with you. Thank you very much for watching and please connect with us on community if you have any questions. Thanks.